<laughs> Missed that time. I didn't miss. I got Did you it. hit her? I hit it. Oh. I couldn't see nothing with the sun. <laughs> yeah, all I got is bl glare. Now you have to do it again. Yeah, now you have to do it again. We got Damon on the MKA 1919 match from Tactical Imports. First time trying out. We got Wes out here running the uh, clay. And uh, we're all set here. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Whoa, nailed it. Oh, well, give it a bit more uh, clean. Damon, how you find the recoil? Not the same as any other semi-shotgun. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad. And so you're just basically point shooting on it? Point and shoot. Yeah. You're using the sights, you find they aligned for that distance or this or not? I'm not even using the sights for Yeah, well that's it. Point shoot, pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah let her go. All right, here we go again. Oh. Oh. Damon, I'm disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> got the camera out, that's why. <laughs> Let me get my glasses in. I'll try. <laughs> I'll get my glasses. All righty. Hi, I'm Don Lindsay from the Canadian Firearms Network Facebook site and uh, I have an interesting firearm that I've been given to me by uh, Tactical Imports. It's a MKA 1919 match, 12 gauge semi-automatic, has a retractable buttstock, um, Picatinny rails all over it, has like a similar to a Heckler and Cock, uh, forward cocking mechanism on the side here. Uh, that is removable if you want to take it off. The sights are basically the same class as a rifle sight. They're very well made, uh, quite precise. Uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is uh, this is a 12 gauge and it shakes. You may have to uh, put a little bit of Loctite on it because they will come loose if, you're, if you don't have them snugged up. But on that, this thing has worked perfect. Honestly, I've run uh, number twos, uh, fours, uh, seven and a halfs, and it's fed absolutely everything. I've run uh, uh, low wall and high wall brass on the stuff and uh, nothing has uh, had any problems at all it's Absolutely, we work perfect and uh, So I'm just going to do a little quickie here on uh, checking this thing out. So right now I have some um, Federal number two high wall and we're gonna see what this thing does this firearm is also comes with a uh, set of chokes uh, I haven't messed with the chokes at all. I haven't touched them or played with them at all um, but everything on this gun seems very, very nice, uh, very well made. Like you look at the fitting on this and the workmanship is, is ideal. It's not sloppy like some of the uh, other imports that come in where they look like they were made in somebody's garage. This is really quite uh, a, a very well made gun. Um, I, have, I haven't really gotten any uh, complaints about it. Uh, from the people that I've handed it to, they've all been, I've been basically giving it to friends of mine to test it out, and uh, it's, it's been great. This says here, uh, Husen Exen, or Turkey, I'm not even sure how you pronounce that, but it is, a, it is a, honestly, I, I cannot complain about this. It's been, it's been working excellent. So, let's uh, see how this thing goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fire it off at some different ranges here. I want to see the different types of grouping that is going on with it. Um, see how much it's spreading out. And uh, compare it to my Remington 870 here. As you can see, I've got them all ready to go. That's a 12 and a half inch Dominion Arms barrel on my old 870 Express. And then I have my old standard basic Remington Wingmaster from the 60s, uh, which I got off my father. I traded him for an engraved, gave him an engraved one. 
but I got a really good deal and I figured my dad would have the better gun. But uh, let's give this a shot and see how things goes. Oh. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's got a nice punch to it. Try another one here. So anyway, I've got, uh, as you can see, a number of overlays of my shot pattern. I'll go down and check that in a bit. But uh, those were number twos. Really uh, uh, not for comparison right now. I'll fire off this one anyway. Same distance, other side. C870. Okay. Breaches are open, guns are clear. Let's walk down and take a peek and see what this is uh, doing down here. Point blank, in this short distance, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna make a mess of something. Pattern's holding pretty good. It's not bad. We're, we're running, it's, it's, this whole range area was set up here. It's, we're running around 90, 95 feet or so. I've got these spaced about 30 feet between each other. So that's just basically point shooting. I'm not really bench resting it and trying to nail her down, but you can see that it's, 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 for a, it can be used for whether as a combat, home defense firearm. It would also work as a great hunting firearm. You can get a uh, magazine for it that only takes two rounds uh, for those of you that want to use it for hunting. And I have friends that would, uh, we took it up to a cottage, we were doing some trap and skeet with it, playing around with it. It's kind of difficult to figure it out, but it was a bit of an experience. So it's, it's spreading out. That's my brother who's holding the camera. I was testing his slugs earlier with his hat sand escort. And uh, he's got a a hologram type sight, sight on it and uh, tuning it up trying to bring the sights over so that's, that's pretty good for uh, just you know for if, if you were hunting rabbits ducks that uh, MKA 1919 match would be a suitable hunting firearm it may look like an AR-15 but it is uh, it is a suitable firearm for that uh, so this here this was fired with the uh, the full length Remington 870, and the one up here, as you can see, was was fired with the 12 and a half inch barrel. So there is a there's obviously a starting to spread out a lot more with that little 12 and a half. Yeah. All right, go for it. <laughs> That's one way to nail her. <laughs> 
Wes, what do you think of the MK1919 match from oh, Tactical Imports for I don't the first know if I time? I skate with it, but. Uh... <laughs> Fun though, eh? Oh, yeah. Not bad for a lefty. Yeah, yeah, he left handed too. Didn't freaking hit you in the face? Yeah, no, nothing. That's good. No, it worked good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Go through a lot of ammunition though. Oh yeah, you can go through a hell of a lot of it out here blasted. Oh yeah. Look at the ground. <laughs> okay, so I've got some uh, Winchester blindside three inch shells, BB. And uh, I haven't tried these yet. It can be a bit of a bugger trying to get uh, these box magazines loaded. It take a little bit more effort than a typical 12 gauge when you just pop them in. I am a big fan of the Remington 870 because I've been using one since my youth. So I, I am really not accustomed to 12 gauge box mags, but it, you have to t use your hands a little different to try to get the uh, floor plate, that spring pressure pushed down. But uh, it's, just, it's just getting used to the firearm understanding how the magazines load every every firearm no matter what it is what caliber it is they all have their quirks and and so you have to figure it out in this mag here i've already got some uh, 12 gauge two and three quarter inch number twos and uh, we're going to run them through stick that in the pocket we'll start off with this i'm going to see how it goes He's all in. You can hit this. It's also this, reminiscent of the Heckler & Koch uh, G3 HK91s, that sort of thing. This is a removable unit. It does come off. Uh, when I first received this firearm from Tactical Imports uh, in the mail there, it was off of it, and I wasn't quite sure what it was for. And then I started looking the gun over and realized what it was. But, uh, you know, it's got that... That G3 style, and, and the funny thing is, is while it sort of looks like an AR-15 to some degree, this whole area here, I, I keep always felt this reminded me more of an HK, the old school HK-91. Uh, but as you know, the HK G3s and HK-91, which are 308 battle rifle type of things, they were a beefy, beefy gun. They had some weight to it. This is really quite comparison. Very similar to my Remington 870 with the full full weight of it. There's not a whole lot of difference in the weight. So let's see how this goes. Let's go play with it. And off we go. There we go now. $3,000 cash savings. Go tap tap. Got one more. Before they're gone, visit your local dealer during the Toyota factory event and check out our offers. That's a nice gun, eh? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try at the uh, MKA 1919 match from Tackle Imports that they sent me. And I'm putting some... Uh, Two and three quarter inch number twos through it first. It's high wall brass. Uh, and then the other ones I'm going to put through it are low wall seven and a half. So uh, we'll put the high walls through first. We'll see how it works. Just going to walk around blasting, see how things go. Low walls. Let's go have some fun.
ran through that pretty good. Everything ran fine with the uh, high wall two and three quarter. Uh, those were number twos. These are number seven and a half low walls. <laughs> that's fun that's fun this this uh is very quite manageable to fire uh rapid fire it just it's a lot of fun it can't i can't i can't put that volume of fire out with my 870s so this this is uh this is a fun gun uh, it's uh, running up around $1,000 uh, at uh, Tactical Imports. It's non-restricted. Uh, if you can buy a single shot 22, you can purchase this. And uh, it's definitely guaranteed to grab some attention from your buddies at the range. But again, you could take off these sights. And again, I only finger tighten them so they're coming loose. But uh, if you're setting this thing up, that's what that's for. You can take these off, you can put dot sights on it, whatever you want. Tractable stock, fits into all kinds of stuff. You know, it's, 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 it's a nice little gun. It's, it's not bad when you compare the size of it to my Remington 870 with the 12 and a half inch Dominion Arms barrel on it. I mean, this is the, uh, let's see how this is here. This, when it's all the way down, that's 28 inches. And this is right down, so there's not a whole lot of difference in length. Both of them are non-restricted. This is just looks a whole hell of a lot cooler to some people. Right, so. so it's just getting accustomed to the firearm, as with any firearm. They have their quirks and things you have to learn about them. Overall, uh, it's a very fun gun, and uh, I've enjoyed playing with it. Uh, Tactical Imports told me they only really allow people to have their firearms for a month for doing product reviews. But uh, as some of you may have noticed in my videos on the Canadian Firearms Network, I injured my knee and I've been off work for about two months now. So that really, the day I received this gun, from Tactical Imports was the day I ended up in the hospital. So uh, my apologies to Tactical Imports for having a delay on it, but uh, it's been quite an interesting uh, month when I have been able to hobble out to the range and do this. And uh, I'd like to thank them for sending this to me. So anybody that wants to uh, pick up one of these things, non-restricted, 12 gauge semi-automatic MKA 1919 match from Tactical Imports, you can find their website. and. Uh, Check out the rest of the stuff they have. They have some very cool guns. You can get a 50 caliber uh, semi-automatic Lynx bullpup, $15,000 if you got the coin, but they take financing. So uh, check them out. And uh, thank you for watching Canadian Firearms Network. And oh, and I also have a thermal site. I'll be putting a video up that uh, from Tactical Imports also. So this is gonna be interesting. You'll probably see my cats going in the dark, just like Predator. Thank you again, bye. Match and he's gonna try shooting clays. Go for it. Go. Oh, he dinged her. This is his first time trying up this gun today. Sir, how do you think it is? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> alright. <laughs> alright, try your out again. Oh, that's a tree. That's a tree. That's a tree. Oh, hang on a sec, I got a phone call coming in now.